J-Wink Reviews here, and today I'm reviewing the LG SJ8 Soundbar and Subwoofer. Now, included with the Soundbar uh, is, of course, the bar itself that I've got already wall-mounted. The Subwoofer speaker, the wireless remote, in addition to having... You know, the two wall mounts, which are already on the wall, the instructions, uh, batteries for the remote, an optical cable, some cable ties, two feet for the bar if you want to put it on a stand, uh, the power supply and two power cords for both the sound bar and the subwoofer. The one thing that, that's notably missing in the included stuff is for whatever reason, LG did not include for these metal mounts uh, any type of screws or anchors to mount on the wall so you have to supply those yourself and my question is is seriously lg are you so cheap that you can't include those with this package i just don't really understand that but you know luckily i you know i had a set of anchors and screws that work for the anchors uh that and that fit for the wall mounts with no issues so again but if you don't want to uh, you know mount these uh, on the wall you can you can just put the feet of which I have one right here that you could just put on the bottom of the mount or the soundbar now as it seems it's common with electronics uh, I've reviewed s several major brands of late and the it seems to be a common issue the included instructions are a bit poor with the soundbar uh, as it seems to be with most most included manuals these days. Uh, there is a better, LG does have a better online manual for this uh, that's online that gives better details on the features and, the, and, you know, more than just the basic included instructions. Now, and again, I have this wall mounted, so it's a little hard to see, but all the uh, ports are located on the back side of this uh, sound bar here. Um, which keeps them out of the way and hidden a bit, but uh, because of the location and because they're not recessed into the back of the bar, it makes them plugging and unplugging a bit of a chore. Uh, I've found that I've had to, you know, unscrew one side here or the other to, to access to easily get the cables in and out of the plugs. So it, it, I kind of wish they were had made that a little bit less more recessed into the bar to make them easier to to get in and out so now i initially connected the sound bar through hdmi before i actually realized that you could connect this uh through the particular tv i have which i have an lg uh, c7p currently on connected with this uh without a cable using bluetooth which is the way i have it currently the bluetooth connection is very quick and easy um and very stable as I've not had any disconnects. So if you have a TV that has that capability like this LG, um, it, you know, it's an easy way to go without using the HDMI slot that you may want to use for something else. Um, there's been some moments though with the sound sounding a bit odd through the Bluetooth. I'm not sure if that has to do with the channel or the Bluetooth feature itself, but it's only happened like once and Again, I'm really not sure what the cause was. Um, there are other options, as I mentioned, like the HDMI to connect. You have an optical port on the back, as well as you can you connect wirelessly through the router uh, in addition. But the setup's pretty easy regardless of how you do it. So the buttons for this, as you can see, the symbols are there. The buttons are actually on the back side. Again, hard to see because I have it wall mounted already. But they're right about there. Um, now, granted, they're not the easiest to access because of where they're located. Uh, but, you know, with the included remote that has all the buttons pretty much on it, I really didn't find myself uh, missing or, or aggravated from having the buttons to where they're not easily accessible or, or seen so um, but you know you've got all the all the basic ones here if you want to use them including the volume control the input selection the wireless setup the music flow all that kind of stuff is 
basically there on the bar, at the back of the bar itself. Now, the front center of the sound bar, as you can see here, has a LED status display that is, is pretty decent size to see. The, the biggest issue I have with the display is at an angle, it's a bit hard to see, like if you go at an angle, so you can really only see it straight on. Some people don't like the LED light. I personally don't find it annoying. I, I don't think it's very bright at all. Uh, there is an option in the settings to disable this. I've seen some people say that you can't, that there's no option. There is an option in the setting to disable the LED if you so choose. But uh, again, I didn't find it too annoying or, or bothersome as it dims down when it's not, you know, being accessed. And I personally find this display here with the various features uh, that is especially helpful for setup and that kind of thing. So, or to tell you, you know, if it's connected, that kind of stuff. Now, again, I like the looks of the sound bar. It's not flashy. It's a slim profile. It kind of, kind of blends in fairly well. It doesn't stand out too much because of its slim size. Uh, and the subwoofer here, uh, is compact uh, as well and, and doesn't it's not you know doesn't stand out being you know too big or anything out else you know like that now sound wise I find the sound to be pretty decent um, you know although I did expect it to be more powerful and I'll, I'm gonna play that here real quick just to give you an idea of what it sounds like based on available data, has not identified any significant activity connected to Russia with respect to tweets... Now let me switch to a different to channel Russia. for like sports or something here, if I could Airline find something. Do not use if you are allergic to you, Chris, There's something with some music. Allergic reactions may occur at or near the application site. The most common... The services of the post... I can't really find any sports channels at the moment to play sports, but to give you an idea, I mean, the sound will not blow you away. I mean, it's decent sounding, although, again, I expect it to be more powerful. I expected the subwoofer to be a little more powerful. I did find it to be a little bit uh, underpowered, and the sound is limited a bit. Um, I think personally considering the price which these this particular sound bar ranges in the three to four hundred dollar range normally or sometimes even higher I think you know the sound could be a bit more powerful now you know it is a better choice than the speakers that come with most flat screen TVs these days uh, as it does give a, a fuller sounding view you know you know through the sound bar, you get a fuller sound experience, and it sounds better than just the basic speakers. Of course, it's not going to match bigger and better uh, sounding, uh, you know, surround sound setups or more expensive sound sound setups. But it's a decent sound bar for what it is. Now, I personally got this as part of a package with this LG TV that included a wall mount uh, for only about $150 more, which I found very reasonable. For that, however, I'm not so sure I would be as happy with this at regular price uh, because I think uh, compared to other other uh, speakers, surround uh, speakers and uh, speaker bars for the price, I think there's some that may sound a little better than this one for what a regular price LG sound bar sounds like. Uh, but you know, it's got plenty of features. It has multi-room capability. Chromecast, a 4K pass-through, high-resolution playback. Uh, the one irritation I have with this is the Music Flow app is kind of a pain, I think. Uh, it doesn't always work well. It doesn't always connect and work as it should. I initially downloaded the, the Music Flow for Windows, and I couldn't get this speaker bar to set up with that uh, Windows app. I actually had to download the Android app to get through the setup to get everything set, set up through the music flow I'm not sure why that is now the, the seems like you can only update the firmware for this speaker through the music flow app I'm not sure exactly why they do it that way where that's the only option but just to keep in mind there is a bug fix update for this speaker at the time of my review here uh, and the one thing that indicates when it updates here is it actually tells you it's updating. So that's a nice little feature there with that. Uh, 
there was a small lip sync issue I had with the TV and the speaker. However, that seemed to be fixed after doing that update. I haven't had that issue since. The uh, mode itself is, is, is pretty small and compact. Uh, it has all the buttons really you need for this speaker. Uh, but after connecting to this TV, I really didn't find myself using this remote but very much. But it feels solid and well-made with responsive buttons. Now, overall, I find this to be a decent sounding speaker bar. It has some nice features, but again, I think, look for a deal on this. I think at regular price or even the $400 price range, there's better sounding options for this than this speaker bar. Um, it, it does have a seamless setup, especially the LG TVs, and it does the job. It gives a better sound than the basic speakers that come with the uh, TV. I give this four out of five stars.